here i've spoken um in depth a little bit about my confusion as to why people like adele's music so much because i think it's garbage uh not garbage because i think it's really boring it sends me to sleep similar to eric clapton's music i appreciate his artistic um, influence and his legacy and whatnot and obviously he's got a great autobiography that i've actually read cover to cover that's awesome but in terms of music in terms of the ability to keep me awake eh, 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 not a fan of it but i have to be honest those last few weeks of Adele promo um, have definitely convinced me that she is a real gem of a person. What a beautiful person inside and out. Ridiculously beautiful. Now I understand people resonate with her so much. She is lovely. What a warm, loving heart of a person that she has. She just kind of, kind of exudes that in her, right? And I think... Obviously, um, that audience with show that she done was fantastic. Some of the little clips I saw were great. She was doing little stand-up bits, were, which were maybe far better than some of the stuff that I've seen on people's comedy specials on Netflix and whatnot. Really good performer. You can't take that away from her. Like She's really, really amazing. But this is definitely going to take the biscuit for me. This is definitely where I think, okay, I'm definitely a, an Adele fan. I'm not going to be a fan of her music anytime soon, but I'm definitely rooting for her as, well as, as a person because she did an absolute madness with this. So this is courtesy of The Verge. It says, Spotify's play button stopped shuffling apparently because Adele said so. Absolutely incredible. I've always wanted this from the get-go. I never knew why this wasn't a thing. When I initially made the switch from Apple Music to Spotify, I was flipping bemused and shocked why when you listen to an album and you try to play it, and you press the green button to play, it would start shuffling it in order. And again, I'm come, I'm from the old school. I listen to albums. I don't listen just to singles. I don't go into albums and just listen to the features or listen to the lead singles that some people do. They'll get an album, they'll just listen to the lead singles again and again, or they'll do another thing where they'll just delete the songs they don't like and make their own album. I'm not that guy. I listen to all the songs backwards to forth, um, from the front to the back. Um, I listen to the album from the top to the bottom at least once just to get it all out there. And if I want to do my edits later on, cool. But even then, I don't do my edits. I still listen to the tracks I want to listen to, but I still listen to the album in the order it's meant to be ordered in, in the track listing it's meant to be track listed in, in the secrecy, meant to secrecy, whatever, right? I want to listen to an order. But for whatever reason, Spotify's, Spotify, Spotify's way of kind of playing albums was always play on shuffle, which I understand to some extent because they're mostly a playlist platform. That's where they made the bulk of their kind of, imprint on the industry that's where a lot of their value is getting held that is held in right a lot of those playlists out there in the moment are controlled by record labels and shit and people pay money to get placed on there so there's a lot of value in it but i never understood why if you went to an album it would shuffle i understand if you went to a playlist they have a setting where it automatically when you press the green button it shuffles so it comes on first cool but they should give you the option to play first in the order that the album's kind of designed or maybe put together to listen to then if you're going to put it to shuffle you can but having it straight up and shuffle which is always infuriating i never knew why that was the case but most of the reason why was because i think they went to fudge the numbers similar to when i worked for other startups and shit i learned about this thing about certain websites where they have those auto playing videos on the site like you know daily mail like a vogue.com usually what they'll do to be cheeky is that they'll use those stats or of the of the video loading up in the page as you're just browsing reading some news on flipping daniel lee and they'll include that into their marketing deck when they're trying to pitch brands to buy advertising or whatnot or to secure deals when it comes to sales that's what they'll use so they'll say oh we've got two billion lays on our shuffle on our shuffle two billion views on our video platform blah blah, blah. and it makes you believe that oh yeah they get all this view and traction but not really what they're including are all the views that they get from people clicking a link and having a video playing the background and what they're counting in a shuffle is people just clicking albums and shuffling them right because you're, you're basically double dipping you're getting people that are actually playing the playlist and you get people who are actually playing the albums and all those stats and metrics get counted into one so i think that's why they ended up doing it but now they're scrapped it thankfully due to adele saying that she wanted the, her album to be listened to in some sort of order which is great to see so it continues here it says spotify has stopped shuffling albums by default following a request by adele according to a report by the bbc previously when viewing an album on spotify you'd see a small shuffle icon within the larger play button this indicated that spotify will begin playing the albums in random order which isn't always what the user would expect or want it to do now when you hit play button album view songs will play in order thank god that is as long as you have premium subscription oh again with these features they always do that shit you can still enable the shuffle mode by toggling the shuffle icon and a few this anyway they always kind of get you over the barrel with the with the flipping playlisting in it and the premium but anyway continue this as adele said the following this was the only request i had in our evening so this is the only request i had in our ever-changing industry i don't 
don't create albums with so much care and fall into track listening for no reason. Our art tells a story and our stories should be listened to as we intended. Thank you, Spotify, for listening. So, you know, really heartfelt, great message with a little wine emoji in the heart. So big up her for getting that done. Really do appreciate that. Spotify even tweeted out saying anything for you. So great to see them do such a thing. Great to see them do such a thing. <laughs> 